Okay, so it looks like instead of, uh, normally you would just apply stripes and stuff onto that um, as a material, and then you would just see it, but uh, it looks like what you're wanting to do is actually model it. So we're going to do this. Uh, by the way, I'm right-clicking as a means for doing the enter and finishing the co the commands, excuse me. So um, here's our base model we were starting with. I'm going to make a copy of it because I'm going to try and show two different things. So object to copy, right click, select there, let's move this one up here and right click for done. Um, let's go ahead and shell and fill it that one just to uh, just to uh, kind of get to where you were at too. And then uh, right click, let's set the fillet size to a half an inch. And then, so there's the model. So uh, first off, normally you would do the kinds of edits and things you're doing, you know, filleting and all that. That's that's called finish detail. That's all supposed to be done last after you got what you want. But so let's just start with as if we knew we wanted to do that before we did all this, which was this. So first thing I'm going to do is explode that. So now I can get to the individual surfaces, right? So they're just all unjoined. So I can run the offset command on that all right here. Uh, so everything up, everything tells you up here what to do. These are all the instructions. But uh, so I'm just going to click to change the direction, then right click and choose the defaults, and then select that one. Right click to repeat the man command. Click change. Right click for done. Select this. Right click. Repeat the command. Down and done. And I'm just going to do that a few times now. I could be uh, um, changing the offset value for creating different things. Uh, you know, there's other different ways now too, which is offsetting each one of these. And, you know, just at this point, you're designing your stripes. I just made them all even just for the sake of doing it. Now, um, what I want, now what I can do is use these and split. I can split this surface here with all of those. So if we just go to, um, I think it's edit. There we go. Split. Select objects to split. That's that thing. Select, right click. Now select the cutting objects. I'm going to select all of these and say right click for OK. Now I can just delete all those. And I've got each one is a, uh, is a split out section. And then uh, we can assign that uh, the color uh, by, where am I? Okay, display color is by layer, or I could just make it red, yeah, or blue, or whatever it is you were talking about. Um, now, after that, now, we would want to, now you have one solid object with, with striped cut surfaces in them. Um, you had, at some point, you would want to join that back into a solid. I haven't got far enough yet. When you go to join, I think it's more like a parent-child thing. Um, there's going to be a command somewhere. So if I type join just to show you, there's going to be a command that says, uh, here's all the objects I want to I want to join. And uh, what's going to happen, though, is they're going to start uh, taking their display and material settings from like a parent. You know, it's disp um, I have to dig in a little more to how to get it so I can join it back to a solid and have each individual surface retain the color display or material that I set on it. Anyway, you, you could just leave it separate if all you're doing is for pictures. Um, haven't quite got that yet. Uh, the second thing is if you're at this point, then uh, now you want to do the same thing. And uh, we're going to do it though. Uh, I could have showed the same thing on this, which is uh, we could have also just made each one a separate solid. So here, let me just back up a little bit. So let's just say I still have uh, these two surfaces are whole. Let's join those, and then we'll split them. So join and select the top one. And then now I have a solid again, right? Now I can just Boolean uh, split with all of these. And 
in and get rid of those. Now each one of these is actually a solid, which, you know, that, that comes down to, I'm not quite sure what you were talking about, about separating it like that. Um, really, if all you're trying to do is show stripes on it, you would just assign a layer, but you seem to be modeling, wanting to model it. So whether you're modeling um, all the separate layers like that, uh, then, or whether you're just trying to split the surface itself like that. So now here's the, here's the second part is what would you do if you already had the fillets and stuff? Well, now you're going to have to uh, untrim to get your surface back. So this surface right here is actually that original one that we're working on. So what we're going to do here is explode this. And now I want to, now I have this one right here. I'm going to copy it. And uh, let's just say I'm going to pick that point there and then uh, let's copy it over here. Okay, so now what I want to do is is I need to get this underlying surface back so I can do the offsetting and the splitting and stuff, right? So let's uh, let's go to the surface edit tools, untrim the border, and then uh, repeat that. Oh. Well, let's see, surface edit. There we go. So now there's our surface back again, right? And we can just do the same uh, surface offset again. Let's just do that again. Again, changing the values to create the stripes and or sections that you want. Right click, select, right click, change the direction, right click. Okay, so now we got all those. So let's get rid of this one. Uh, let's move this one back into place. Move. Let's select right here on the quad and uh, let's put it right back there, tangent. And now let's uh, join that back into a solid. That surface, that surface, this one, this one, this one here, that one, and that one. There we go. Now we have a solid again, and we're just back to either separating it and doing the split and assigning colors to surface things, or just doing a Boolean split again. Again, I, I'm not quite sure. Um, what you are after and so depending on what you're after is going to be uh, is going to be how you proceed after that so yeah anyway that's about all I got I think uh, back here doing that surface one and that's what I'm, I'm going to do for myself is figure out how to join uh, back into a solid retaining each individual surfaces back when I did the surface thing not the solid retaining the surface uh, color description after it's all joined together into a solid anyway hope that helps